What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to have a little bit of fun with uh, Fredo Scale's Radial Bend Tool and Placemaker. Um, before we get started I do want to take a second and thank my supporters on Patreon, uh, specifically my newest supporter A. Steve Almond. Steve I hope I said your name right. Um, I appreciate the fact that you uh, decided to support the show. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, you're interested in supporting what I'm doing, please make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the extension placemaker to come in here and we're going to create our city using that. And you could also make more of a generic city by just uh, doing some rectangles and kind of push-pulling a bunch of rectangular buildings like this. I like to use placemaker. Um, it is a paid extension, but it does bring in all of those buildings really quick. So you can kind of go either way with this one, but I'll go ahead and go through the principles on it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into placemaker and we're going to open the placemaker dialog. So that's the first option over here and it's going to ask you to select a place. So in this in this case I've selected a place kind of in the middle of New York City um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an area um, by clicking the select area and I'm going to click and create kind of a long narrow selection in here and so when we do that what that's going to do is that's going to bring in this area and one thing I wish you could do and I don't think you really have the option to do that right now is kind of rotate this selection but this will work for right now so basically we're gonna take this and we're gonna select this kinda of long narrow area and we're just gonna click import area and it's important that it's long and narrow because we're gonna bend it along this length so we're gonna go ahead and click import area and so what that'll do is that'll bring in the map data um, for this part of New York City and so we're gonna do a couple things the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the buildings and in order to do that you need to click on this you need to click on this map piece that we just brought in and then just click on buildings and what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring in all the building data that placemaker has in this area so you're gonna bring in a whole bunch of different buildings and so you can see you've got a bunch of tall buildings over here, a bunch of other buildings over here. So it's kind of what we were looking for. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring in our roads. And I'll probably go ahead and bring in water as well. I'm not planning on bringing in the trees. But if I go ahead and click on water, I don't know if there is any water in this piece. So you can see I've got basically a whole city in here. And so what we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to bend this so that it kind of curves over top. So if any of you have ever seen the movie Inception, um, basically it's a movie where they're kind of inside dreams. It's a weird movie, but what happens is the cities kind of build up. They have kind of a similar effect in Doctor Strange from Marvel, I think. But what we want to do is we want to use the radial bend option in Fredo scale in order to bend that. And I think there's one more thing I want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close placemaker. And I'm actually going to turn the layers for my buildings off really quick. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to turn my uh, roads, my buildings, my water off. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to push pull this so it has a little bit of thickness. So I'm going to right click on it to unlock it because this gets brought in as unlock ge or as lock geometry. And I'm just going to use the push pull tool to push pull it down. And I'm a little concerned when I do that that I'm going to lose my texture. I think I might. So what we're going to do before that is we're going to go up to materials and we're just going to sample the texture. And so when I sample the texture, what that does is that basically takes this texture piece and it stores it in my materials. Well, now we can push pull this down and give it a little thickness. I don't want to give it a big thickness. I just want my buildings to basically seem like they have a base. And then you can just reapply this aerial image using the materials. So now what I have is I have roads, I have buildings, and I have water in here. So I've got basically this full city and what I want is I want to take all of that, I'm going to click and drag around it, I'm going to right click and I'm going to put that in a group. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go inside this group with, um, with Fredo scale and bend everything. And so then I'm going to save my model. So you definitely want to save your model when you're doing something like this. And sometimes you're going to get this error message um, that something's messed up in your model. I've been getting a lot more in SketchUp 2018. I'm not really sure why. I'm going to go ahead and click Fix Now. And what that'll do is that'll fix all the problems in my model. 
and because of the amount of data in this, my SketchUp's been running a little bit slow. Um, you can see I'm trying to rotate and it's not letting me right now. So make sure you save before you do any of these big things like build, bending your buildings. So now what we're going to do is we're going to activate radial bending in Fredo Scale. And I've done a bunch of different tutorials on this, but basically what I'm going to do is this is going to allow me... This is going to allow me to basically bend this shape along the edge here. And one thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to push pull the edges out until this shape is underneath the building. So I want this to have kind of a full base underneath it. So I'm just going to go around the edges and that may cause some kind of a uh, that may cause some kind of repeating of the images in here. I'm not really sure, but there we go. So now I've got kind of my full base. And again, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna save my model again. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the radial bend option in order to bend the city. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this option and it's important that this is all in a group so you're bending all of the geometry. But I'm going to click on this and now it's gonna ask me for an origin point. And so an origin point means where do you want me to start bending this model, basically. And so I'm gonna pick an origin point that's kind of by this tall building right here. Uh, maybe a little beyond it, and maybe a little before it. And basically what Fredo Scale is asking me for, it's, it's asking me, okay, now draw a reference direction. So the reference direction is over here. And it's also gonna ask for a target point. And basically it's asking what two points should I bend between? So in this case, I'm gonna select a point that's probably about right here. So I clicked again and you can see how now it asks me for a rotation angle. And you can see how as I move my mouse, this is giving me kind of a preview of what that's gonna look like. And so um, basically what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna type in 180 and hit the enter key. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bend, it's gonna bend this model along this face right here. So just a quick note, cause I had to come back in here and add this after the fact. So what ended up happening is there were so many groups inside this model that I started having issues getting um, radial bend to actually bend the geometry. So what I had to do is I had to go inside my uh, city model and uh, just explode some of the groups in there. And you can access that in the outliner off to the right hand side of the page. And you can see how this took a while to load. I think it actually ended up uh, taking a couple minutes but what you want to do um, if this doesn't work with everything just kind of in a group is go in and explode some stuff and try to get a little closer to some raw geometry all right so there's probably some cleanup that would have to be done with something like this uh, just because some of these tall buildings this may not be the best location for this um, I, ideally you want kind of the narrow buildings in the middle but it still gives you a pretty cool effect where uh, you've got basically this building kind of flip or this city basically flipped upside down kind of like they do in the movie Inception or in Doctor Strange. So that's how you would create this effect. So that's where we're going to end today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this interesting to you? Um, I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.